Today we're going to talk about Santa Muerte. This is a cult. This is not a religion. And the reason it's important for you to understand what Santa Muerte is when it comes to the Mexican cartels and the subculture of the criminal underworld in Mexico is that this is low-hanging fruit for our citizens, citizens around the world, or local, state, federal, or even intelligence community members to be able to pick up and spot and understand what you're dealing with. Within Santa Muerte, there are two main saints, patron saints, if you will, that are idealized. Jesus Maverde being one of them. Going back to the 1800s as supposedly some type of narco smuggler who robbed from the rich and gave to the poor. Can't even prove that the individual ever even was existed. The other one is the lady patron saint of death. This is the one you'll see the most. And there are several others. I know a lot about Santa Muerte. It's being stationed on the border for many years. I actually had a witch that worked for us at one time. And she would bless the load uh, as these smugglers would pull up with their drug loads in their vehicles hidden in false compartments. She would sacrifice a chicken, bleed the blood out, say a few words. They would go down the road not realizing the man was on them the whole time. But anyway, that's another story. So while the cartel does not usually have born to lose tattoos as we see on our gang members, what they will have is Santa Muerte tattoos that are, will usually be visible on the calves, upper arms, uh, lower arm area, or even uh, stickers on their vehicles. They're very proud of Santa Muerte and they want to display it. Also within homes, you'll find shrines where they'll have candles lit or the patron saint clearly posted where they're giving offerings of alcohol or shots of tequila or whatever it may be. Santa Muerte is an easy indicator for everyone to be able to utilize to find the subculture operating in your area. I hope this helps.